is back and we're actually headed up to one of our favorite events of the year. That's the Hot Rod Rock Rumble. We're going to take Clyde up and drag race and cruise the Oval and all that type of stuff. But Clyde has to be older than a 76 model and he's a 72 so it's perfect. Uh, one of the reasons why I built the car is to be able to go to events like this. So we're headed up there right now. We actually just had some issues with Clyde over the last year uh, knocking the transmission seal out of it and leaking. You guys have seen us try to repair that. Well, it ended up actually working the bushing out of it. I'll show you guys a little clip right here of the bushing uh, that we had to take out of the rear housing, get a new bushing in it, but now it's all sealed up. There's no more transmission fluid leaking out of Clyde, which is fantastic, but I thought it would get rid of the little vibration we have on the highway, uh, but you guys probably can't see it, but I can feel like right now I can feel it, and then it goes away. Then right now I can feel it, like you can see it in the steering wheel, that it shakes. So it gets real, real smooth and then it shakes a little bit. And uh, so I got some sort of drivetrain or suspension issue. And I'm, I think that might be why it lost the rear pushing, but I could be totally wrong. I don't know, something will have to chase down. But for now, Clyde's back and we're just gonna keep driving it. Last time we got like 7,000 miles before it really caused an issue. So let's get up to the rock and roll mode and do some racing. ton of cars here this year they have the whole like uh, car show parking right over here you see the grandstands for the track might as well hit the oval a few times drove through there's a ton of people here today quite a few on yeah there's a lot and then april's all dressed up kind of pinup girl-esque so we're going to uh do a few laps i actually brought my laptop going to fire that thing up do some data logs because last time we were here in one of the videos if you guys remember the car would kind of buck and snort like in third gear and we haven't figured out why so hopefully i can do some data logs to figure out what was causing that if it doesn't do us again hopefully it doesn't but i have a feeling it's going to pretty cool this is actually an old like abandoned bush nascar track that you have those when the bush nascar series was kind of running and everything then you have your drag strip right there cars come up and you get pinched in right here it gets a little sketchy with everybody this thing is pretty wild it's uh yeah with that added to it and uh, some more of that 96 ford truck 28 model a and a 28 ford model a tudor sedan f700 frame yeah this thing's pretty wild some great seats in here too riding on a bolt Got your light switch, you can turn on the lights inside. Removable steering wheel with a pin. Oh, yep. This thing's pretty insane. 60s Metro is sick too. Bitchin' stitchin'. And they got real nice seats. Crazy uh, Turbo Cummins in there underneath the little hatch. Looks like they patinaed kind of some of this stuff, but then all the nice leather work in the back and everything. Super cool ride. Always love a Volkswagen. These things are so cool. I love the rag top, slam down on the ground, stickered up all the doors. I really want to build an older Volkswagen at some point just to cruise and everything, but it definitely need to have a rag top. Kind of the same vibe. I don't know, I like it. This thing is super sick. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about right there. burnout comp again this year uh this year though actually you have to qualify so yesterday they did burnouts and today they're doing burnouts they qualify for the later round so actually would have done two burnouts if we could have came in hopefully we get april's dad together for next year because it'll fit the year and rules and all that stuff
gotta have your burnout card here next year. Yes, we do. Jack's coming for the W. <laughs> it's gonna be a long winter. <laughs> Ooh, Glad is back in the lanes. We're racing, bud. We're racing. So hopefully it makes a full lick, but I wouldn't be surprised if about third gear it starts cutting in and out. So we got the old data logger. I haven't had a laptop hooked up to Clyde in years, but uh, we'll data log it. We'll see what it does. And hopefully that gives me an idea of what the heck's going on. I don't know if it's like losing fuel pressure or the fuel, the high pressure fuel pump's mad or lifters or what the heck, but we'll find out. Who's our victim today? We'll see. I don't know, that little 60 whatever Camaro yeah, they, I think is really nice. Yeah, I mean, that is really nice. It looks it's built. It's going to be a race. As long as Clyde don't that, cut in and out on us. A chase is a race. Well, I don't think I'll jump it. We'll see, though. I just don't want it to cut in and out in like third gear. It sucks when it does that, but we're going to find out. Good testing tune day. Man, I love those rims on that car. Get it, Clyde, get it. Go, go, woo! Much better this year than it was last. We didn't really change anything. I mean, we fixed the training problem. That's 
that's it. Maybe, maybe giving him a timeout in the garage for a while. He, he's like, all right, all right, all right. Got this sweet all right. second on the shifts and then it does it in third for so so whatever reason first and second it's still dropping the uh the throttle position out of it on the shift so that sucks mine's running great compared to the way it did last year when we were here i got this big tire Chevelle. i keep putting out this little bitty small tire mazda up against all these big tire cars
60 Cadillac. And man, is that thing super cool. Such an awesome car. I've looked at this a few times this week, and man, well deserved. Such a cool car. Got the flake up top. Just sitting low. White walls. Ah, just so right. All right. Got a pair of We're going to try to run our buddy, but let's do it. All right. Hey, get him. Let's get him off the light, at least. Definitely be back again next year, maybe with some more power and Clyde. See you guys next time.